In the French Alps, the region of Savoy hosts the dog sled race La Grande Odyssée. Cecil Wolf Merlman is one of 66 mushers entering the event this year. She and her team of dogs are competing in the open category. The race spans nearly 400 kilometers, split up into 10 stages. This is Cannon. He is four years old. He goes as a leader. He's not the fastest leader, but he's a very safe leader. And there is a very difficult route that we're going. So it's nice to have a, a safe one. They get born always in my living room. <laughs> Cannon. Hi, Cannon. Cecil arrived from Yalo in Norway with 12 European sled dogs. She loves her dogs, and that even won her a special award as the musher who took the best care of her team during one of the stages. Before racing off, the dogs always get a little something to eat, mostly protein. The real feast comes after the race. Sled dog races may still often be considered a male domain, but women win several of the top places in the first stages of this year's edition. It's generally dominated by men, and especially yeah, uh, in the big classes and top level. There is still more men, but there's more women coming. I just have to trust your team, and the team, they have to trust me, and then it doesn't matter which gender you are, really. Critics often deem sled dog races to be harmful to the animal's health. But at La Grande Odyssée, a 12-person veterinary team takes care of the dogs. The staff examine them before each new stage, and if there is the slightest health concern, the canines are not allowed to race. For me, there is no sign of maltreating an animal in this type of discipline, for the simple and good reason. Déjà, in the début of the course, we see all the chiens in the forest, who sautent partout, who play entre eux, who are content, and who, in the début of the course, part. Euh, Très, très vite, à fond, à fond, à fond, parce qu'ils ont qu'une envie, c'est d'y aller. Here, in the winter sport resort Pézé Valandry, stage six is about to get started. The looped route spans 30 kilometers, with the starting and finish line in the same place. Cicel and her assistants are harnessing the excited dogs. And off they go. There's no holding back these dogs. La Grande Odyssée is considered an extremely tough race, covering a distance and altitude of 12,000 meters. This sport is also physically demanding for the mushers. They have to stick to the defined route and lay into the curves with their dogs. When they go uphill, the mushers spur the dogs on. Going downhill, they break. It takes Cecil about two hours to finish this stage, coming in sixth. I'm very happy. They uh, were running good. I have a problem that they're going a little bit slow in the uphills, but they just need training. That's because I have a very young team, so they need to learn to push a little bit harder in the uphills. They were going very strong downhill. I had to really work to keep the sled where it's supposed to be. But yeah, all good. Then uh, no problems, no nothing. So it's nice to have a clean, clean run, no problems. After the race, the dogs are fed and enjoy a good dose of petting. Cecil Wolf Mullman ended up coming in fourth overall. But one thing's clear, she's determined to compete again next year.